Guys, we are on the eve of 2015, a few hours away from the 2016, and again I have uh, two rifles, uh, AK rifle and AR rifle. And the reason for this is, again, we're going to talk about challenges awaiting us uh, for the 2016. Uh, this is uh, no longer a joking matter, guys. There is no time uh, for the to, to argue about which rifles are better. We have to all stand united and uh, go uh, head first and challenge the idiots who are trying to go and grab our guns. Uh, it just, you know, it breaks my heart when I read the language of that uh, proposed 2015 assault rifles uh, weapons ban. Uh, the opening sentence says to ensure that the right to keep and bear arms is not unlimited. This is a direct quote from that bill and 123 congressmen signed that bill. They are sponsoring that bill. Uh, what they are thinking, this is a direct assault on the Second Amendment, guys. Uh, it's a rape of Constitution. Uh, shall not be infringed became to ensure that the right to keep and bear arms is not unlimited. What is wrong with those people? How they can do this and wake up in the morning, look in the, in the mirror and feel good about themselves? And to all the liberals, uh, you know, celebrating that type of the bill, uh, being happy about that type of the bill. Guys, what stops those government uh, idiots from saying that in 2016 they will introduce the freedom of speech ban? Nothing. These are your elected officials working supposedly for you, but all they want to do is they want to control your life in every manner possible. They are no different than all those socialistic regimes, uh, communist regimes, uh, which we you know we know very well from the history what they can do. Make no mistake, those people, their only goal is to manage your life, micromanage your life. Uh, yes, today they're going and trying to grab your uh, weapons, uh, any kind of weapons, but tomorrow, as I said, there will be nothing stopping them from saying that you have no freedom of speech left. Also, there is a very interesting law uh, being introduced or actually going in, in effect uh, tomorrow in California, where uh, basic, uh, basically on the suspicion of uh, you being unstable, the government can come in, kick your doors and uh, take your rifles away from you. Uh, and uh, this is a classic socialistic playbook guys. Uh, in the socialism, the government government loved to label the opposition, uh, people who are opposing the communism, socialism, uh, basically uh, mentally ill. So they were with the one stroke of the pen from judge, they were losing all the freedoms uh, and you had to be crazy to not love the communism. Uh, and this is the same way, you know, you, you, they can twist at your arms and say it, well, you have to be crazy to own the weapons because all the weapons do is harm the people. What is going to stop them from executing the law that way? Uh, and uh, this is all supposedly help us, you know, to fight the terrorism, domestic terrorism. Uh, the funny thing is, guys, uh, like those, you know, those uh, San Bernardino terrorists, they were not on any kind of watch list. They acquired the rifles illegally and uh, nothing, that law wouldn't stop the massacre they did. So uh, all these laws, they are not targeting the criminals, they are not targeting the terrorists. Their only purpose is to limit the law-abiding citizens, to limit their constitutional rights. They love those liberals, they love to rape constitution, twist the hands and put it and change the language of it so they can, you know, basically jam throat their ideas on all of us. Uh, look into the 2016 guys, the elections are upcoming. The elections will be extremely important. Uh, the balance of the power at the Supreme Court is at the stake because remember that the new president is probably going to appoint at least two new judges. But also look into your local elections because the balance of the power in Congress can change and we could be in the boat 
load of troubles. Uh, pay attention, get registered for voting, get active in your community, guys. Start participating in the political process. Everyone is complaining, my vote doesn't count. Yes, it doesn't count if you don't go and vote. Okay, do something. Uh, there is no time to, to keep arguing about which rifles are better. Uh, we should love them all. <laughs> we'll sort this out later. Now, focus on elections, on upcoming elections. Get involved in the political life uh, in your neighborhood because this is how the difference is made. Okay, thanks guys. Thanks for watching and happy 2016.